One of my favorite things from this building is that if you look at every wall, it has a great saying. Like on that one, it says, uh, "Find yourself uh, to lose yourself another." So it has like a Gandhi, like a Gandhi quote. Uh, just every line, every line of the building. Service to others is the rent you pay. Well, they're enchiladas callejeras, but the chef put that down and I was like, what? I don't see that. No. Oh. Enchiladas callejeras. Yes. That's pretty good. Very good quality. Some of them have been. If I had like a good yeah. yeah. How do you help them? I didn't just make Our culinary students are showcasing some of the talent and skills that they've mastered over this 18-week program. So some of them um, are maybe 18, right out of high school, don't really know what their next move is. Some of them um, have a cooking background, but maybe are working um, more entry-level, uh, minimum wage jobs. So we want to help enhance their skill set, help them to grow, to be able to provide for their families. Man, that was an awesome experience. We just came over here to the San Antonio Food Bank, you know, for um, to help out the community. It's an awesome feeling to always give back. Uh, feeling good right now. Feeling really good, and uh, hopefully we continue. You know, we continue to bring more people together to help out the, this this cause. We're going to an appointment right now, so um, gotta gotta leave a little early, but uh, we'll definitely be back. Carlos, nice to meet you. We met last time, but very pleased to meet you. Yeah. Give me yourself. <laughs> so we're in the process of also breaking down our industries and our portfolios and assigning them. So Patrick might have more of a hands-in on the real estate side of things. Okay. So we'll kind of help that transition if that's what if that's the route we decide to go on. Okay. Um, but we'll also be. So San Antonio Food Bank, you guys very well know, that's our, our charity of choice. So we try to stay pretty involved with, with their goals, with their missions and so forth. So right now we just uh, donated a little bit to be able to feed, uh, I believe it was 7,000 or 7,700 uh, uh, meals. So it's it's very nice and very good to see their, their uh, progress and also their mission and just how many, how many families they help in different uh, aspects of their life. Like for example, we just tried the culinary mm -hmm. training that they have. Who would have known? I mean, it, it's, it's very yeah. good, we like it. It's about a, a 15 week training where um, where those that, that apply and get accepted go through a whole culinary school in 15 weeks. But not only that, but they're also prepared for the, um, the job interviews that they'll possibly have. They write up resumes and um, as we were talking to them, we kind of learned what they picked up about yeah. resume writing. Um, about not being scared to um, to ask 
and maybe get a no because eventually a yes will come. And it was it was so inspiring, I guess, really, because they it come is. out of the, the students come out of a shell and they're just ready to talk to you about short term goals, long term goals. Mm -hmm. They're all excited. Uh, so just overall very inspiring everything they do out here. Very inspiring and I don't know about you but I am honored and glad that we're actually part of this and we yeah. can get and we get to help out a little bit. I mean San Antonio is our home and there's not there's no bigger fulfillment than fulfilling than to serve the home yeah. that you live in. So. For sure. Especially if you think back on where we started. Yes. Um, exactly. and then being able to now like pay it forward is um, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. We're very Definitely thankful for it. Man upstairs. <laughs>